Let's welcome back on guitar from Whitesnake, Joel Holstra. Give it up, Joel. Yeah, Joel. put forth my information to David and, and it was nothing but crickets for a while, but thankfully a couple well-respected people um, in the industry began to recommend me to David one by one, one of which was Eddie, and actually had a lot to do with me getting my foot in the door over there and getting a, a quote-unquote audition or uh, beginning David's hours and hours of YouTube research on me before I was brought out. Uh, but Eddie was sort of clued in from the beginning and him and I were texting as the audition was kind of happening and on the way back. So um, thank you, Eddie. I appreciate it very much. Listen, we have uh, your newest snake here in the studio as well, yes. Mr. Yes. Hoekstra, which I know you first uh, caught your eye when you saw him playing right on this show, right? Uh, actually, yes, and uh, it is an amazing talent and, uh, and a perfect snake. You said uh, in an interview that Joel is incendiary. Incendiary, darling. Yes, he's on fire. Burn, Joel, burn. <laughs> I think Tommy Bolin was just somebody who was bringing a little bit more of uh, the R&B and the diversity um, to Deep Purple. I think Richie had his thing, and they're both unbelievable guitar players, or in Tommy's case, was. Uh, but uh, really both t just two iconic players that I admire very much and for their own things and, and we all do our own things on guitar and all we can do is hope to do the best with our playing styles and our people play like their personality so it comes down to who you are as a person in a whole lot of ways. When filled in on the concept of doing the Purple album, when I went out to meet with David, um, I thought, man, this is a great opportunity to revisit proven songs and get my feet wet with this band and get out and tour and uh, it just sounded like a lot of fun. I think that the, um, and not to mention an opportunity to play on an album with uh, rock royalty like David Coverdale and, and Hit the Road certainly was very appealing to me. Well, upon getting the Whitesnake gig, I began to uh, dream big and reach out to uh, some of my favorite gear companies. And uh, Steve Christmas at the Gibson Custom Shop was uh, kind enough to uh, begin production on two, uh, two models for me that are going to have Whitesnake medallions mounted behind the, the bridge here. Uh, and they're not quite ready yet today. I still have a week or two to go. And uh, also, uh, Mike Tempesta at Fender agreed to do two strats for me as we're embarking on the Purple Tour this year with Whitesnake and playing some deep purple material. So strats are kind of, oddly enough, a necessity in Whitesnake for a change. So uh, I couldn't be more thrilled to have both Gibson and Fender helping me out. I think it's as God intended. And then my friends at Atomic, they always make me one really cool guitar for each gig I do. They've just always hit it out of the park. And so yada yada, they have made me this super cool uh, purple crystal uh, white snake uh, custom Les Paul. Incendiary, darling. Yes, he's on fire. Burn, Joel, burn. <laughs>